Hello again YouTube. This is uh, BCR Railroading with uh, not so much a layout update but an engine roster update and uh, you're gonna be surprised. So um, this is the very first time uh, Kent and myself have ever pulled out all of our engines. Uh, I'm missing two or three I haven't found them, but uh, they're somewhere around here. So we're starting off with uh, the Cato S or AC 4400s. Um, we have currently, should probably should have pre-counted this, six Cato AC 4400s, four SD90 Max. Just to give you a broad view of just how many engines we actually do have. This is my personal collection. It goes all the way over to the last three via rails. Right there. But back to the beginning. I have a couple Montana Rail Link SD30s, I believe. I'm not truly positive on that. I picked them up at the train show probably about 15 years ago. Uh, two Christmases ago, my girlfriend got me the Southern Pacific Daylight. I've wanted one for years. I haven't collected any of the cards yet, but that's coming. Uh, these are old Proto 1000 C liners. I've picked them up to work on um, Warren Crawford's layout, as well as a couple old uh, Cato GP9s, um, Cato Proto actually, GP9s. Um, back over here, my one single CN SD40 wide cab, and then a large selection of SD40s. My single Burlington Northern engine currently. Now, this little guy, just picked this up at the train show. Uh, got him for 50 bucks with sound. Uh, it's actually featured in another video, but uh, the video failed to upload. Can't go wrong there. Uh, so I got this one, an MP15. I got that with DCC for 60 bucks at the train show from Kelly's Caboose. Actually, both were from Kelly's Caboose. And then I picked this one up, um, full price, unfortunately. But uh, everyone knows the price on that. Uh, got a number of old Athern Blue Box AC44s. Uh, got four of them here. Um, two powered, two dummies. And the reason why that is is um, previous train links didn't really require me to have two powered units. Uh, back here we got two Cato SD45s. Uh, CPRL did have a few of them, but not a whole lot. Um, moving towards the back, we got two BC Rail SD40s. I got those at the uh, October train show last year out in Chilliwack. And BC Rail 3000, or KVR, sorry, KVR 3005. He got, um, he got the one unit and I got the other. He got the one with sound, I just got DCC. But that's okay. Five minutes later I found that one. 200 bucks for two engines, I was happy. Um, these are, I believe, CM630s. I got these uh, right when they first came out. Beautiful engines. Totally drawing a blank on the name of these. Didn't do my homework, but I love them. <laughs> and a couple old Atherin blue boxes. Uh, I'm gonna convert them with the Caslow Shops cab. And uh, let's really make them pop. Can't wait. I got three BC Rail bud, uh, bud cars. I love these two. Uh, picked one up from Kelly's Caboose. The other two were from the Chilliwack Train Show. I got this guy here, uh, SD70, North Fork Southern. And that's gonna be painted repainted into CN uh, coming up in the future. Um, 
just got to get it done waiting on a rear truck because the rear truck was broken I got the engine for forty dollars other than that it, it does actually work just everything falls off the truck that's no good back over here one I forgot is I got a, a fake CPRL engine an AC 6000 they don't actually exist in CPRL but uh, it's a nice engine and I got it dirt cheap so I'll buy it sorry about that so that's my very first SD90 Mac I got that right when it came out probably about 14 years ago or so got three more it only took me 14 years to get three more but I got them and onto my new pride and glory got this from the Pacific Western Rail Systems yeah they do custom painted engines it's a Cato F F40 uh, got it for my Canadian spent a pretty penny to get it but uh, well worth it and then my true pride and glory my overland and I got that for my Canadian as well I'll show the Canadian later on I don't have it here with me it's still at my house I got both of these engines for it and they cost just as much as the Canadian it did on by themselves couple old Walther's F40's they are what they are and then I have a large selection of uh, super liners so uh, I have one of those two of these but it's hiding a couple of those I got three super liners uh, here's the engines for my Rocky Mountaineer I'm actually gonna have that train running in a, just a little bit once we clean up my West Coast, one West Coast Express engine and the engines that come with my Canadian now I'm actually selling these to my friend Kent later on but uh, that's at another time now on to Kent's collection I have no idea what this beauty is called but there it is and then on to his large fleet of SD70s he's got quite a few of them some GP9s beautiful engines uh, his new um, ES44 beautiful engine his SD70 Ace uh, a couple SW1500s I do believe uh, GP couple GP38s and uh, we got some GP40s beautiful engines one of those was actually mine the dirty one 9669 but I realized I didn't need it so we swapped monies for that one uh, a couple beautiful uh, SD 40s from uh, from Cato and a couple old uh, protos um, I believe it was this is this an SD 30 it doesn't matter it's been it's repainted I don't know if CN actually had them or not and then we got a GP9 high nose of course and then we over here we have a Cato C44 we got or we didn't he got uh, two of them at the train show a couple year, years ago at uh, Chilliwack as well got a great deal on those uh, a couple Intermountain SD uh, 40s beautiful engines as you all know the um, ditch lights kind of suck on them, but we'll get those fixed up one day. And then continuing on with his SD70s, he's got a lot of them. And I'll give you a nice overview. I did forget one engine, but I'll be over there in a moment. Unfortunately, it's pretty bright over there, so hopefully we'll be able to see them. But we got a couple of blue devils. One's out of the box, one's in the box. Doesn't want the one out of the box. That's okay. And uh, Kent's pride and glory of his fleet is uh, the SD60 picked up. And that is from Pacific Western Rail Systems as well. They custom painted these engines. They did a 25 set. And uh, they're quite nice. Haven't taken it out of the box yet, but uh, we can't wait. Excuse me. <laughs> 
So I'll see you on the next update, YouTube. All right, bye-bye.